good evening, good evening, good evening, everyone. All right, we are excited to be back tonight. Uh, we are on, this is the New Life International Ministries, our Hour of Power Bible Study. All right, good to see you all back on tonight. I pray that you all had a blessed holiday. I tell you. The Lord is just blessing and moving. And so we're just excited to be back uh, for yet for another Bible study. Happy New Year to each of you. Happy New Year. Uh, I tell you, we just had an awesome time this past Sunday uh, in our service. And I'm telling you, it was great. Hey, Sister Calandra, how you doing? Good to see you. All right. Good to see you on tonight. All of our family and friends that are coming in to Bible study. This is our first Bible study for 2021. So I'm excited. I am excited. So we, uh, more of our New Life family and friends. Come on in tonight. Come on in. Hey, what's up, Brother Michael? Good evening. Good to see you, man. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate that. All right. More of our family and friends are coming in. All right. All right. L. Bell, good to see you. All right, more of our family and friends are coming in tonight, so we just thank God uh, for each of you, I really do. Again, this is the Iowa Power Bible State of New Life International Ministries. Uh, our address is 1985 Vineville Avenue, right here in the city of Macon, Georgia. Hey, Yasmin, thank you for tuning in tonight, Yasmin, appreciate that. All right, Elder Pat, good to see you all tonight. Tell Deke I say hello. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're just, again, we're just excited to be on again tonight. Um, for This is our first uh, Bible study for 2021. Our very first Bible study. So I am excited. I'm telling you. I am excited. I am excited. So um, just get ready, get ready, get ready. Hey, do me a favor. Those of you all that are on, go ahead and tag somebody. Start your watch parties. Um, share this. I'm telling you because it's, hey man, it's going to be a uh, good Bible study. I think it's going to bless you real, real good. Hey, Elder Wood, how you doing? All right. Again, I'm, I'm just excited. Thank God for each of you all that are on all our New Life family and friends. I hope and pray again. This is our first Bible study that you all had a blessed day uh, in the midst of everything that's going on with the riots and all that. Man, I never thought I'd see the day when we would be dealing with this, where they were rioting in the capital. But that's all right. Hey, the word is being fulfilled. The word of God is being fulfilled. And um, and that's what you got to know. That's what you got to know. Uh, hey, all right, Deacon, I see you. All right, Deacon Larry. I see you. I see you. All right, good to see you. Hey, Sister Victoria, good to see you. Thanks for tuning in. All right, so, hey, let me again, I'm, I am just excited. Excited, excited, excited about the word that's about to come forth. Um, because this is a great time, man. This is our first Bible study for 2021. And this is going to be an awesome year. Uh, awesome year. We had a great time this past Sunday, our first fruit worship experience. This is our first service for 2021. And it was, man, it was great. Hey, Elder Sean, how you doing? Good to see you. Appreciate you coming on tonight. I know you had a long day, <laughs> but I'm glad to see you. Uh, really, um, so really, so we we just excited about what the Lord is doing. Hey, if you're not doing anything, we got about one more minute, one more minute. Uh, if you're not doing anything, come on out this Sunday, this Sunday at ten fifteen. I'm telling you, it's going to be another great new life experience. Um, God is just moving in a miraculous way. Uh, he's released a, a word, declared the word for for our house for New Life International. Everybody that's connected to us, every family, friend, if you're covenantly connected to us, if you're uh, a member, you're, 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 you're planted in New Life, man, that word, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's uh, the year of recovery, man. So I'm excited about it. Uh, even uh, since then, since Sunday, he's been giving me uh, different, uh, even more revelation about that, uh, the year of recovery, man. So I'm just excited. I'm um, glad to say, hey, Sister Ashley, the goddess. All right. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate that. All right. Uh, we got about 20 more seconds. We're going to go ahead and, and dive right into the word because I believe it's going to bless you again. Uh, so come on out. 
Come on out this Sunday, 1985 Vineville Avenue. Uh, it's going to bless you real, 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 real good. All right. All right. We're going to get started tonight. Now, as you know, uh, from 2020, we've been doing a series. I, I guess we could call it a series um, about the the uh, uh, outpouring revival. Man. And today, believe it or not, what just happened in D.C. is another um indication of revival. So I want y'all to catch that. It's another indication of revival. Uh, so we know that we're in fast mode. We're in the year recovery. We're in fast mode. We're in fast, fast, fast mode. Um, so we've been catapulted. And that's what we got to keep in mind. Uh, even though we're in 2021, uh, but you got to keep in mind that God is, we're moving fast. We're moving fast. And, and you got to keep that in the forefront of your spirit that we're moving fast. Man, listen, this thing is moving so quick. The Lord just kept, he just kept confirming that to me uh, today in my time of meditation. He was like, son, he was like, son, I'm moving fast. I'm moving fast. I'm, this is a catapult. I'm moving fast. I'm moving fast. So, so we last week, God Almighty, I feel anointed. Last week, we dealt with identity. And understanding how he was saying he was going to take us back to our true identity where we have strayed away through all the issues in life um, that we have gone through as a child and in different experiences in our adult life, how we have become uh, uh, who we think that we are. And in essence, God said, what you become is not who you are. It's what you've become. And so he's so he's he's saying that I want you to get the proper identity and uh, 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 that I know that I have about you, what I'm saying about you. And, and, and uh, so I thank God for what he's doing. He dealt with identity. Now, he told me in my meditation, I said, wow, he said identity is very important. Listen, you all, you all are, are coming into this new year and we're talking about the year recovery. Your identity, uh, the, the real you, the real you, not what you've become. Uh, and don't revert back. Listen, oh, that, he just dropped that on me to tell you. Do not revert back to uh, uh, it, it because it's comfortable. It, it's comfortable to revert back to to uh, the things that you know how to do and all that kind of stuff. Don't revert back because God, and he's, he's, this last week, this last couple of days, he's been dealing with identity since we released that word. And so tonight, watch this. He, he was saying how imperative it is because I'm moving you fast uh, regarding your identity. You need to know that because attached to your identity is what we're going to discuss tonight. Ooh, are y'all ready for this? Heritage. God Almighty, man, he said, and y'all, some of y'all should have shouted on that because uh, when you understand uh, uh, heritage is based upon your your divine identity, man, that thing is huge. That's why the enemy is fighting you because he doesn't want you to know. Watch this: that as we are talking about identity, that when you uh, uh, in, 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 in gaining your divine identity, your heritage is attached to it. Watch this. Now, this is powerful. What is heritage? I don't know. Many of y'all have heard it. Uh, um, you heard the word, but really, let's get into the, the, the dynamics of heritage. Uh, and when it comes down to your divine identity, heritage, something possessed as a result of one's natural situation or birth. Something possessed as a result of one's natural situation or birth, your birthright. Watch this. So if you didn't know your identity or if you were operating in a false identity, guess what? You were not going to operate and walk in your heritage. God Almighty, because understand this, he said, I couldn't give, I can't give your heritage to a false you. God Almighty, are you all hearing me? So this is why it's so imperative. You got to recognize this thing, recognize what's going on. He said that it, your heritage, watch this, is directly connected to your true identity. Oh God, I'm helping somebody. 
I'm him with somebody already because I feel it. Uh, and this is why you got to understand where your attack is going to come. Your attack is going to come uh, uh, to try to get you to revert back, to revert back to what's comfortable, to revert back to what uh, uh, over this past amount of time, what God has delivered you from. From and, and all the things that he's been dealing with you on to get you to this current place right here. So you got to understand that, watch this, your heritage, your birthright who is attached to your true identity. Now, everybody's not going to recognize that. There's some people that still going to see you. Oh, God, I feel you. They're still going to see you for who you used to be and, and all of that kind of stuff. And there's some, like me, uh, uh, my my flock, man, when I was in my thing, dirty rail. That was it, dirty rail, rim, dirt, all that kind of good stuff. That's not my identity. He said, I'm bringing you into your true identity. Why? Because your heritage, your, your, your uh, possession, divine possession is a tag. You, some of y'all been wondering why some things have not manifested. It hasn't manifested. Why? Because you can't get heritage with a fake ID. God Almighty. <laughs> you know, you know how it was back in the day. We used to go to the club, we have a fake ID, and they really wouldn't check it because if they look, if they looked at the ID real good, they'll see that it was fake. He said, No, no, no. Your fake, oh, let me help somebody. Your fake ID is over. God Almighty. The days of the fake ID is over. He's, he said, and people around you got to understand your identity, what God is doing. That's why now in this season, in this season right now, it is imperative. The Lord told me today, you got to have people around you who see your true, who see your identity. Same with you. You've got to surround yourself with people that see your identity to help, to help fashion. Watch this. And to push you into that identity. Because watch this. In that identity uh, is your natural, uh, what God has already fashioned for you in the realm of the spirit. Are y'all hearing me? Uh, now, now, I, I often, I, 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 you know, there was a direct correlation as I was studying and meditating. There was a direct correlation between your heritage and your inheritance. Uh huh. Your heritage and your inheritance based upon your identity. Because remember, well, remember now, we're moving fast. We're moving fast. Your flesh uh, is not going to catch it. It's going to freak your head out. You're going to like, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, I got to do this, I got to do this. No, 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 no. Settle yourself. You, uh, I, I just, I just thank you, Holy Ghost. He says, settle yourself. Yes, settle yourself. It, it's all good. Uh, inheritance. Now, now we know a, 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 her, a heritage means something possessed as a result of one's natural situation of birth. Inheritance means something that has quality, characteristics, or other immaterial possession received. From pre uh, predecessors, in other words, uh, you it, it is passed down to you. Heritage is what's yours. Oh, catch me, catch me. Watch this. Heritage is what what God has already fashioned in the realm of the spirit of of what's yours based upon your true identity. Inheritance is what uh, uh what's passed down to you so it's a twofold thing watch this he said not only not only as you're coming into identity you get heritage but there's some stuff that I fashioned to your grandparents that I fashioned to to your your lineage that you're unaware of in the realm of the spirit that's going to be passed down to you as well oh god oh <laughs> Man, y'all better catch this. So, so this is powerful. This is powerful. This is why your uh, um, identity is so imperative. Because not only do you get your heritage, your heritage is what's your birthright, what's yours, based upon your uh, coming into your identity, your true identity. Not only that, he said, not only do you have heritage, but you also have an inheritance. Some stuff, God Almighty, is going to be passed down to you. Some stuff is being passed down to you that you have no idea. I need somebody to type that in. Stay in place. Stay in place and learn this identity, your identity, God Almighty. Are you hearing me? So now, um, here are my revelatory nuggets that he gave me. 
that he gave me concerning heritage. Concerning heritage. Watch this now. Watch this. Watch this. And your identity. Hear me. Your identity, here it is, unveils your heritage. It unlocks your heritage. Let me say that again. Your identity, your identity, hear me, men and women of God, your identity unlocks your heritage. Did y'all hear that? That's why the enemy is fighting you about that identity. Your identity unlocks your heritage. Catch this. And your heritage activates your inheritance. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, yeah. Let, 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 let me say that again. You see, because let me show you how powerful as God is catapulting us. As God is catapulting us, we're going so fast. As God is catapult, as He's catapulting us, as He's catapulting us, we're moving at a high velocity, a high speed. And He's saying your identity, understanding who you really are, is important. Why? Because your identity unlocks your heritage. If you don't know your identity, the heritage is, is going to stay locked up because you can't use, watch this, the wrong key to open up the right door. God Almighty, are you hearing me? Your identity unlocks your heritage and your heritage activates your inheritance. <laughs> Did you hear that? Let me say it one more time, because you know, I get a little slow. Let me say it one more time. Your identity, come on, Eric Bell, uh, not the Eric Bell, uh, God, I hear you. Your identity un unlocks your heritage. Let me put it in another phase, according to definition. Your identity unlocks your possession as a result of one's natural situation of birth. God, let me say it again. Your identity unlocks your divine possession as a result of one's natural situation of birth. Let me say it again. Your identity unveils, uh, it unlocks your, your divine possessions based, based upon the true you. <laughs> and if you don't know the true you, if you don't know the true you, guess what? Your heritage stays locked up. Are you hearing me? Which means your inheritance cannot be activated. God Almighty, are you hearing me? Some of y'all need to share this. I'm telling you, y'all need to share this. Y'all need to share this because it's heavy tonight. So, now watch this. Now watch this. Watch this. This is something else that he gave me concerning heritage. Don't allow the uncomfortableness caused to cause you to revert, which will cause you to miss your divine heritage. Let me say it again, because remember, he's moving fast, and I know it's uncomfortable. But God said, don't allow the uncomfortableness to cause you to revert to the old you, to the misidentified you. Uh-huh, which will cause you to miss your divine heritage. That's why I said you got to stay in place. Don't do, do not allow the uncomfortableness. I know it's not comfortable. What God is doing now, he said it's not going to be comfortable. And he said, watch this. I don't have time to explain it to you. You just got to flow with it. Are you hearing me? He, uh, thank you, Holy Ghost. He said, I'm sending words through, through my vessels to speak to you. I'm sending words through. Some of y'all are birthing anointing. Some of your inheritance, your, your heritage has already started in anointings. Uh huh. Some of you all, uh, 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 your walk starting to walk into you and you can't even explain it. You don't even understand it yourself. You just know something is happening to you. Uh-huh. What it is, you're, you're coming into the knowledge of your divine identity and your heritage is being unlocked. 
Mm -hmm. And your inheritance is being activated. Are you hearing me? So don't allow the uncomfortableness to cause you to revert back. Don't go back to that old person. Are you hearing me? The one that they talked about. Uh-uh. No. Because if you do, it's going to cause you to miss your divine heritage. Yeah. Now, now let's move on because I want to get into Logos. Here's something else that he told me. He said, tell them this is vital because as you become your true identity, your heritage is released to you. Are you hearing me? He said that this is vital. You got to understand the importance of this right now. Because uh, you're on the brink. You're on the brink of something really big, massive, enormous in the realm of the spirit. Stuff, something that you didn't even know. Two things, your heritage and your inheritance is at stake here. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. He said that this is vital because as you become your uh, become knowledgeable of your true identity and start to walk in who you really are and not who you become from all of that other stuff. Watch this. Your heritage your heritage uh -huh, will start to uh, unlock itself and be become released to you. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, he just dropped this on me. As I'm releasing your heritage and unlocking it, you must stay humble. Mm. You cannot get the big, so the thing that he does not want you to do is to see yourself. God Almighty. Lord, don't let us see ourselves. God, don't let us see ourselves in this as you are taking us in this year of recovery. Don't let us see ourselves, God. Keep us where we see uh, only you and not ourselves. Don't let us see our successes. Don't let us see, God, don't let us look at and see how we how we are developing and then allow the spirit of uh, 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 the humbleness to leave. We become prideful and arrogant. No, God, don't allow us to see ourselves. But God, let the world see us. Through you. Let the world see you through us, God. Let the world see you through us as you are bringing us and we are coming into our identity, our heritage. Let the world see you through us, God. That we stay humble, but the world will see you. Are you hearing me? I'm speaking to somebody here. Don't let us see my prayer. If you're connected to us, if you are in, in, in your memory, you could. I pray that God does not allow you to see you. Let the world see God through you. You don't see you so you can stay humble. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? I feel the anointing. I feel the anointing. God, oh my heritage. God, he's just putting that, it's, it's hitting my spirit. Heritage, that who I have fashioned. Mm. Many of you, many, many people have, uh, oh God, uh, it talks about treasure stored up. It talks about treasure stored up in the heavens. Um, that's heritage. That's heritage. And it hasn't, it can't be unlocked. So it can fall down until you come with the right key. You got to have the right key to unlock that thing. And that comes from your identity. Oh man, you know how it is now. You know, uh, your phone has fingerprint. Mm -hmm. Or it may have uh, 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 eye recognition. Uh, it won't recognize no one else's eye. They can put that eye up there all day. See, the problem is you've been you've been trying to unlock something. Watch this with the wrong set of eyes. 
Oh God, are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? With the wrong set of eyes and your heritage is staying up here. The treasures in heaven, the, uh, the treasures staying up in you and you can feel it, but you just, and it's frustrating. I get it. It's frustrating when you can feel it, you can sense it, but it just won't happen. God, what is it? It is, watch this, identity. You've got to have the key to unlock that heritage. And as we are coming into that identity, you are God saying, now you got the key. Now you can unlock that thing and it can just start flowing down. Oh man, y'all better hear me. I'm talking tonight, man. I'm talking tonight. Woo, I'm telling you. So the Lord said that this is vital because as you become your true identity, your heritage is released to you. Now, now he dropped this on me out of left field. I said, whoa, God, okay. Uh, he dropped this on me out of left field concerning 21. I'm like, okay. He said, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. Talk about heritage and identity. I want to talk to you about 21. I said, okay, what? This year is important because 21 is when inheritance legally is released. <laughs> some stuff you can't get till you turn 21. I, my, my children, there's some stuff they can't touch until they turn 21. That's the legal age. They can't even, they can, I can tell them all day, this is what I have for you. This is what's for you. This is for you. But you can't touch it until you become legal. 21. 21 is the, is the, he, God told me, he said, that's the number of legalism. He said, this year, hear me, this year is important because 21 is when inheritance is released to the inheritor. God Almighty. So remember, okay, you got heritage. Are you hearing me? You got heritage, which is yours. Then you got inheritance. Watch this, which is somebody else because of it is it's in your bloodline. It's gonna come to you. So oh God, twofold. He said double, 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 twofold, 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 twofold. Heritage and inheritance. See, you just looking one way. See, the problem is you looking you looking here, but it's here. <laughs> Man, y'all better catch this thing tonight. 21 is the, the, the number, you know how I deal with numbers, is the number of legalism. Uh-huh. You can, uh, you, you can't even, mm, in my alcohol, you know, buying days, you know, you couldn't go purchase it until you were 21. Are you hearing me? You know, because that was the age of legalism in, in your inheritance. Watch this. Your inheritance, watch this, is directly connected in this year 21. Because this is the age of legalism. This is the number of legalism. Y'all better hear me here. You better hear me. Uh-huh. So you better catch this, man. Uh, I'm trying my best to keep everyone that's connected to me, try to keep them focused and don't lose sight because I get what's going on. I see what's happening. You know, something as a shepherd, when the Lord will allow you to see some stuff, but the other people don't see it, and it, it, it can become frustrating. It can become frustrating. But let me encourage you tonight. Let me speak to you tonight. Listen, listen, you are in the right place. I promise you, you're in the right place. Uh, we're, 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 we're in alignment to what God, because your heritage and your inheritance is being unlocked as you come into your true identity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, here's something that he dropped on me, something else that he gave me. I, I got to get this to you. Y'all need to invite somebody, get the numbers back up. Let's invite some more people because they need to hear this. Watch this. The correct discipline is necessary for what's coming. The correct discipline is necessary for what's coming. Let me say that again. The correct discipline. You, got, you can't let your mind go all over the place. Are you hearing me? You, I, I'm talking to me too. I'm talking to me because I, my mind can just go crazy. I get all kind of crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The Lord said the correct discipline 
It's necessary for what's coming. You must be able to handle it. It's going to take discipline to handle it. Not only must you be able to handle it, what's around you must be able to handle it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, I got that little headache right there. I know what that means. I just stepped on something. God, uh-huh. What's around you must be able to handle it. Uh-huh. Somebody said the internet keeps freezing up. Uh, what's around you, not only must you be able to handle it, what's around you must be able to handle it. This is important. This is important. And then I check this third part out. You get, you must be able to handle it. You got to be disciplined to handle it. What's around you must be disciplined to handle it. Watch this. And what's around them must be disciplined to handle it. God. Mm. What's around you must be disciplined to handle it. What's around you must be disciplined to handle it. And what's around them must be disciplined to handle it. So you got to be careful, watch this, for not only who's around you, but you got to be careful for the people that's around you who's around them. Oh God. Oh God. Yeah, yeah. L let me hear, let me say that again. Y'all better catch that. Yeah, you got yeah, you got to be co conscious of what's around you, who's around you. But you also got to watch this. You got to watch who's around them. Because they can bring stuff to hinder and fight and you wonder where it come from. Uh-huh. It ain't watch this because the person who they around is negative. Uh-huh. And next thing you know, they they around somebody and it messes it brings forth spirits that comes and try to attack you. And you wonder well, where in the world did that come from? Watch. Watch this. Not necessarily who's around you, but who are they around? <laughs> and God said the correct discipline is necessary for your heritage. The correct discipline is necessary. You must be able to handle this heritage. What's around you must be able to handle your heritage. And what's around them must be able to handle your heritage. In other words, watch this. He said, I'm not going to have no leeches on you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm not going to have nothing sucking out of you and not pouring it. Are you hearing me? It's going to be a bi-level. This thing is going to be, uh, it's going to be like a cycle. It's going to be flowing. It's going to be flowing, 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 flowing. As you flow out, it's being flown, it's being uh, sown back in right back to you. It's going to be a flow, just like currency. Yeah, it's going to be a flow. Are y'all hearing me? Oh, y'all better hear me here. Uh-huh. Final nugget, final nugget, final nugget before we go into the word. Here it is. Your heritage is bigger than you know. That's where the eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, nor, nor neither has it entered into the heart of man the things that gone. God said man can't even comprehend this. He said that, he said man can't even comprehend this. So, but what he told me to tell you is this, your heritage is bigger than you know. God, I feel like I got that headache right there. God, your heritage is bigger than you know. That's why the satanic kingdom is doing everything to keep you from embracing your true identity. It, it keeps telling you, you know, you know, revert, you know, you, 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 you do know, you know, you're looking crazy right now. Okay, you do know you, you, you're looking real crazy right now. You got, you got common sense. That's where that logic kicks in. That's the same thing. Watch this. Now. That's the same thing that Satan, the serpent did to Eve. That's the same. He started dealing with her intellect, her logic. You shall not surely die. You ain't, hey, listen, ain't nothing going to happen. You, 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 know, you know, you know, you're trying to keep something from you, right? 
The same, that's, see the thing is, we, the devil ain't beating us with nothing new. He beating us with old stuff. Stuff that we read about in the Bible. He, that's how he beating us. So, 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 so understand this. That's what, that's what he's doing. The satanic king. So we think that a satanic kingdom is just demons and all, all that kind of stuff. No, no, no. It's attacking your mind. And it'll talk to you. And if you ain't careful, you will start adhering to what it's saying. And you'll start acting and reacting. Next thing you know, you'll be like, man, what in the world did I just do? Uh -huh. So so you got to understand what's going on. You got to understand this. It'll talk to you. You know X, Y, Z. You know X, Y, Z. You know. And then it'll sound spiritual. It will sound spiritual. Oh, God. Oh, y'all about to hear me. You, you, you better hear me. He said, your heritage is bigger than you know. That's why the satanic kingdom is doing everything to keep you from embracing your true identity. Mm -hmm. Your heritage. Your heritage. Your heritage. This thing is bigger than, than what you can imagine. Man, it's it's bigger. I, I wish somebody would type that in for me. Bigger, 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 man. I'm, I'm not talking about the little small. Man, I'm, I'm talking about big. I need for y'all to type that in for me. Let me know that you're in agreement with me. Big, 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 big. This thing is big. I'm telling you, it's big. And everybody ain't going to be able to handle it. Everyone is not going to be able to handle it. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? So stop tripping on that. They're not going to be able to handle it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Today, I'll just show you. He gave me a little glimpse. So, you know, God know how to do things that sometimes he gave me a little glimpse of glory. I'm like, okay, okay, God, stop playing. Don't do that. Stop playing. Stop playing. Uh, he said, I just wanted you to, to see to keep you encouraged. See, God, he'll do something just to keep you encouraged, to keep you focused, to keep you encouraged. Are you hearing me? Big, it's big, y'all. I'm telling you, big. Y'all better catch this. Watch this. So now let's go. Let's go into Logos. Let's go into Logos. Um, yeah, type that in bigger. I need for y'all to type that in. Bigger, bigger, bigger. If you're tuning in tonight, I need for you to type that in. Bigger, bigger, because this thing is powerful. Bigger, bigger. Bigger. Now let's go into the word. I got a little headache right there. I know what that means. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 22. We're in the ESV. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 22. Let, let's see what, the, what we're talking about heritage and inheritance and all that. Let's look at this. Let's see what it says in the word. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 22. A good man leaves an inheritance. Listen, a good man, when you say man, we're not talking about gender. A good person leaves what? An inheritance. An inheritance. To his children's children. To his children's children. But the sinner's will. But the sinner's will. Is laid up for the righteous. Is laid up for the righteous. Look at that. So uh, check that out. Now, I want you to see this. Remember, inheritance means uh, it's passed down uh, uh, from someone else. So your heritage is so big, watch this, that it'll leave an inheritance, watch this, for two or three or four generations. See, that's why I say it's bigger. What you're working on now is so much bigger than your current. <laughs> See, that's what, that's what a lot of us don't get. What you're working on now is so much bigger than your current. See, we're just looking at the current and we're missing it. What you, your identity and, and walking in it and understanding and fulfilling it is so much bigger than your now. You are working, we are working on something for the next five, six, seven, eight generations that we'll never see. Oh, I got that headache. Are you hearing me? You will never see it. <laughs> this is how big it is. Mm-hmm. He said, in, uh, according to Proverbs, uh, you'll leave a uh, heritage. In other words, a legacy. A legacy. 
Uh huh. I'm picking up on something. I gotta hit it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so understand, understand this. Understand what we're talking about as we're talking about heritage. Did we finish that? Stay in Proverbs. Go to chapter twenty, verse twenty-one. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 21. An inheritance gained hastily in the beginning will not be blessed in the end. An inheritance gained hastily in the beginning will what? Not be blessed in the end. Will not be blessed in the end. Listen, chill out. <laughs> let it, just let, I wish somebody catch it, just let it flow. Just flow, just flow. God, I'm picking up on somebody. Just flow, flow, just flow, just flow. I'm picking up on somebody's warfare. Just flow, just flow. Because if you, hey, hastily, read that again. An inheritance gained hastily. An inheritance gained hastily. In the beginning. In the beginning. Will not be blessed in the end. Will not be blessed in the end. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning. <laughs> oh, that's why I tell you, man, you're working on something. Are you hearing me? Did we finish that? Mm -hmm. Let's go to Psalms. I want to go in Psalms for a little bit. Psalms 2, verses 7 and 8. Psalms 2, verse 7 and 8. I'm in the ESV. I will tell of the decree the Lord said to me, you are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will make the nations your heritage. And the end of the earth, your possession. God Almighty. I'm picking up on somebody's warfare. Uh, read that again. Read that again. I will tell of the decree the Lord said to me, uh -huh. you are my son. Mm -hmm. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will make the nations your heritage and the end of the earth, your possession. God Almighty. Did y'all hear that? Let's stay, stay a song. Go, go to 145 and 4. God, I'm picking up on somebody's warfare. Psalms 145 and 4. One generation shall commend your works to another. Listen, listen at, listen at this heritage and, and inheritance. One generation shall do what? Commend your works. Shall commend your works. To another. To another. You ain't got to notice what it say. You don't have to commend. That's why it said, I don't want you to see you. That's why my prayer was, I don't want us to see us. Uh, I want the world to see God through us. We want the world to see God through us so that one generation would do what? Commend your works to another. Would commend your works to another. That's heritage. An inheritance. It'll commend your work from generation to generation. Are you hearing me? Did we finish that? And shall declare your mighty acts. And shall declare your mighty acts. I'm picking up on somebody. God Almighty. Are y'all hearing me? Are y'all hearing me? Let's go, let's go to um, Ephesians. Let's jump over to Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 1, verses 11 through 14. Ephesians chapter 1, verses 11 through 14. Read. In him we have obtained an inheritance. Wait a minute, in who? Him. Who? Him. It's in him. We have obtained an inheritance. Uh-huh. Having been predestined. It, wait a minute. Check this out. It's been predestined. In other words, it's already there. Remember we talked about that revelation, how it was already up here just lingering? It's been predestined. You working too hard. God. You working too hard the wrong way. <laughs> oh, God. Are y'all hearing me? He says been predestined. Read. According to the purpose of him who works. According all, to the purpose of him. Who works all things according to, to. Who works all things according. To the counsel of his will. To the counsel of his will. So that we. So that we. Who were the first. Who were the first. To hope in Christ. To hope in Christ. Might be. Might be. To the praise. To the praise. Of his glory. Of his glory. In him you also. In him you also. When you heard the word of truth. When you heard the word of truth. The gospel of your salvation. The gospel of your salvation. And believed in him. And believed in him. Were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit.
Yes. Who is the guarantee of our inheritance. Who, wait a minute. This thing is guaranteed. See, that's why they devil fighting you. Get out of place. Because this thing, God said, according to his word, it's guaranteed. See, when, when God says it's guaranteed, that means it is so. It, it is. When God guarantees something, it is. And God, this thing is, your, listen, your heritage is, uh, uh, is guaranteed. That's why the war is against you trying to get into and walk into your true identity. That's why it keeps talking to you. God, I'm picking up on somebody. That's why it keeps talking to you and talking to you and talking to you and talking to you and telling you, no, no, go this, go that way, go this way, and go that way, go this way. Because that's the warfare. It understands what it's doing. Are you hearing me? Read that clause again. Who is the guarantee of our inheritance? Who is the guarantee of our what? Inheritance. Inheritance. Until we acquire possession of Until it. Until we acquire possession of it. Of it. To the praise of his glory. To the praise of his glory. Uh-huh. Well, where, where, where are we? Galatians. Now, this is interesting. This is very interesting. That's 3 and 29. Yeah. That's what we're going to read. Go Galatians 3 and 29. And if you are Christ. Listen at this. And if you are Christ. Then you are Abraham's offspring. Then oh, catch this now. Let me show you. Let, let me show you biblically. If you what? If you are Christ. If you are Christ. Then you are Abraham's offspring. Then you are Abraham's offspring. Heirs. Heirs. According to promise. According to promise. So now let's look at this for a little bit because I want you to get this. Uh, uh, even from this perspective, as we're talking about heritage and inheritance uh, being a uh, 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 heir. Let's look at it from the perspective of being an heir. This is why you got to understand your true identity. You're heir. You're heir. You're heir to, 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 to Abraham's covenant. Uh, we the Gentiles, we, we became because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Because of him, we are now heirs to the promise. We are now heirs and joint heirs. Are y'all hearing me? Are y'all hearing me? So, so let's look at, I just want to look at three. I want to look at three of those uh, 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 promises of Abraham. Let's go to Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. I want y'all to catch this now. I just want to show you. Let me just give you a little glimpse of the promises of, the, of, of your heritage, your inheritance. Let me just give you a glimpse of it. Watch this. Now the Lord said to Abram. Now the Lord said to Abram. Go from your country. Go from your country. And your kindred. Uh -huh. And your father's house. Uh -huh. To the land that I will show you. Uh -huh. And I will make of you a great nation. And I will bless <laughs> you and make your name great. Okay, hold on. Let, let's go back and rewind that. Because y'all got to get this. Let's look at this, this again. Here are three promises of, uh, uh, of, of, of Abraham. Of Abram or Abraham. Watch this, read. Start from the beginning. Yes. Now the Lord said to Abram. Here it is. Go from your country. Go from your country. And your kindred. See, what that mean? You, if you're not willing to be uncomfortable and go and, and be willing to flow into uncharted territory, I don't, I, I can't get this. I'm feeling, uh, this, you know, it's uncomfortable. That's the thing. He said, you got to be willing to be uncomfortable, to not logically be able to understand this. He told them, because you got to remember now, Abram, where he, his family, they was already blessed. But God wants to do something greater as, as Abram, as you getting into your true identity. Where you from is not your true identity, Abram, as blessed as you are. That's what you, be, you become an Abram. <laughs> but really, you're Abraham. God, are you hearing me? You become an Abram, but really you are an Abraham. You become Abram from all of your experiences. You became Abram, but I'm going to show you how you are really Abraham. Okay, so watch this. So read that. Read that again. 
Now the Lord said to Abram, go from your country mm -hmm. and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. Land, okay. And I will make of you a great nation. Listen at this. See, look at how big this thing. God said, I'm trying to make of you a great nation. You think it's about you and just your immediate. He said, no, this heritage, what I'm trying to do, what I am doing, I told you it's so big. It's bigger. See, some of y'all can't even fathom a, a nation coming out of you. A nation. He said, I'm, I'm going to make you a, not a great, I'm going to make you a great nation, Abram. Are y'all hearing me? God. And what else? And bless you. And bless you. And now see, hold on. Now bless. Now I want y'all to understand what bless means. When God said and bless you, that means he releases, watch this, he releases that him unto you. God, when God say, I bless you, that's releasing that him unto you. Because when God releases a blessing, it's more than just material. It's more than just stuff. God said, when I bless you, when I release a blessing unto you, I'm releasing that me unto you. In other words, there's some stuff. He said, I go to prepare a place for you, uh, uh, your mansions and all that kind of stuff. So when I bless you, I'm releasing that me in the, from the spirit unto you to be, to manifest in the earth. Oh, man, in the earth realm. And it's beyond just natural stuff. Yes, it's a part of it, but it's not just natural, tangible stuff. It's some stuff in the spirit. It's some things in your anointing. See, see, watch this. God, if he said that you're going to birth nations, that means that you have a nation anointing that's on the inside of you. That means that you possess a nation anointing that will come out of you. But you can't see it. That's why he's fighting you because you know you, he doesn't want you to get into your true identity. Oh God, you better hear. So one of the promises of Abraham, he said, I, I, I'm going I'm to I'm bless you. And what else? Read. And make your name great. I'm going to make your name great. In many capacities, some of y'all credit getting straightened out. <laughs> Because, see, when they put in your social security number, that's your name. Uh-huh. When they enter your social security number, that's your name. God, clean up our credit. He said, I'm making your name great. I'm making your name great. I'm, for a lot of us, he's cleaning up our credit. Some of us ain't never had seven, eight hundred beacon score. But you get rid of, and, and all three of the reporting agencies, Equifax, TransUnion, and, and, and uh, 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 forget the name of the other one. All three of them. Experian, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. You ain't never had an 800 beacon score. But the Lord said, I'm making your name great. I'm making your name great. And as a matter of fact, let me help some of you. Some of your, your you, you don't, your, uh, you don't even qualify. You don't even, you don't even meet the qualifications to this thing. You don't, you're not really, you're not even eligible. But God said, because I'm making your name great, I'll qualify you for what you don't qualify for. God Almighty. Man, are you hearing me? Your heritage coming into your true identity. He said, I'll qualify, I qualify you for what you don't even qualify for. You don't even qualify for it. But the Lord said, because I'm qualifying you, uh-huh, that makes you the best candidate. I'm talking to somebody. God, I feel the anointing. I'm talking to you. Oh, he said, I'm going to make your name great. There are people discussing you right now. You have no idea of who the Lord has dropped your name in their spirit. They've been observing you. They've been watching you. And you don't even know that they were watching you. But God said, I have, I'm making your name great. Are you hearing me? I'm making your name great to, to the point of where you just show up and everything shifts because of your presence. You ain't said a word, but because your name is great, they'll be like, ooh, isn't that such a uh, brother so-and-so? in that overseer, Be uh, Bell? Oh, isn't that, isn't that brother, sister, so-and-so? You ain't said nothing. You just showed up because they were having a conversation about you because of the greatness, how God is making your name great. So when they see you, they're at, oh, oh, yeah, 
That's what's happening to you. Mm -hmm. And you wonder why the enemy fighting you on your true identity? God Almighty. Yeah, that's why. That's why. You ain't got to say nothing. You just show up. You just show up. <laughs> and when you show up, they'll be like, mm. he just dropped this on me. You won't even know them, but they'll know you. God, did you hear that? You don't know them, but they know you. You won't know them, but you, you ever in this, have you not noticed even in this year so far, people been walking up to you saying, hey, sis, brother so-and-so, sister so-and-so, uh, uh, and, and you're like, who is that? I don't know them. God making your name great. Mm-hmm. People walking up to you just calling you by your name, and you're like, who in the world is that? God is making your name great. That's a part of the heritage and the inheritance. That's what he told Abraham. I'm going to make your name great. What else? So that it will be, so that you will be a blessing. So that, see, now did you catch that? I'm going to make your name great so that you will be a blessing. In other words, I, that's why I tell people, you're not to contain it. Release that thing. You got to keep it going. I'm blessing you to be a blessing to somebody else. Yeah. I'm blessing you to be a blessing to somebody else. Don't charge them. Give it to them. God Almighty. Bless them. <laughs> Yeah, because when you're operating in that in, in the heritage and in inheritance, you know you think different, you act different, and, and watch this. Have you not noticed? I, I know as you walk into that thing, it seems like you're having more than normal. Yeah, you're having because you're walking into heritage. You're walking into heritage. You're walking, and mm, you can't have nobody around you who's not walking in that thing. It's gonna frustrate you real bad. God Almighty, man, you have it more and it seems like you got less, but you got more. You're doing more. You're having, you never had surplus like you're having now. Oh God, I'm talking. Because you begin to, to walk in your heritage. Mm. So he said, I'm going to cause you, I'm going to bless you to be a blessing. What else? I will bless those who bless you. I'm a, see, see, that's why it's important that you got to stay humble. I'm going to bless those who bless you. Are you hearing me? So when somebody comes and bless you, you ain't got to release the blessing on them. When they bless you, it's automatically, they become a part. Oh, God, he just dropped this on me. When somebody blesses you, they automatically become a part of your inheritance. When someone blesses you, that position them to become a part of your inheritance. So what happens is this. You'll drop something off to them and they don't even know it. God Almighty. They'll wonder why uh, they blessed you and there's something else. It reciprocated, activated, and something happened to them. And then they come back and run into you and say, let me tell you what happened to me the other day. I blessed you with, with $100 and then next thing you know, I got a check for such and such. I, this happened to me. See, what you just did, when they sold into you, when they blessed you, because you are now starting to walk in your heritage, it released an inheritance unto them and it just activated God, who God, who are y'all hearing me? It just activated. Oh, you didn't have to. You didn't have to turn around and pray for them. See, in this season right now, God Almighty, in this season right now, man, I'm about to get happy. I'm about to get happy in this season. In this, no, 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 no. in this year, God, in this year, not season, in this year of recovery, you ain't got to release a blessing to them. You, if they bless you, it automatically is activated. It, the inheritance becomes activated, and it automatically rolls off of you. God Almighty, mm, man, are y'all hearing me? It's, it automatically brings them into a part of your inheritance and it automatically releases a blessing to them. So the next thing that they come running up to you telling you, I just, you know, let me tell you what happened. And then it's because of your inheritance. You're walking in, you're starting to walk in <laughs> your heritage. Read. Let, it's all, I got. And, I got a few seconds. Read. And him who dishonors you, I will curse. Now listen at that. Him who dishonors you, I will curse. 
So that's the other thing about it too. Be careful who you dishonor. Be careful who dishonor you. Because he said those who dishonor you. See, I'm very, that's for me. I'm very uh, particular about honor. Honor is very important to me. I understand the power of honor. I understand that. I understand what it does. That's very vital to me. That's very important. Because the Lord said, whoever dishonors you, what happens? I will curse. I will curse. Oh. What else? And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Did y'all hear that? <coughs> this is the, this the heritage <laughs> that y'all working on. Okay, thank you. Well, praise the Lord. It's eight o'clock. I need y'all to write these scriptures down. There's a few more scriptures I wanna I want to talk about. Uh, go back and read Genesis 12, 1 through 3. Praise the Lord. I feel the anointing. Then jump over to Genesis chapter 17, verse 5. Write that down. Genesis 17 and 5. And he's gonna understand another one of those promises that he gave Abraham was to change his name. I want now, oh God, I wish we had time to show you what it means. He was Abram, who he become Abram represented who he who he had become, which meant exalted father. But he was changing his name from Abram from what he had become to his true identity, Abraham, which meant father of a multitude. God, did y'all hear that? See, what he had become was an exalted father. But the Lord said, No, it's much greater than that. Uh, uh, I'm changing your name to Abraham because this is who you really are. You're a father of multitudes. So, so make sure you go and read that Genesis 17 and 5. Then um, go back to um, Galatians chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. Galatians chapter 4, verses 1 and 2 in the ESV. Then 1 Peter, 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 through 5. 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 through 5. Hey, listen, I thank God for you tuning in tonight. I hope that this word blessed you. If this word blessed you, listen, uh, start this year. This is the first Bible study. Cash app. Cash app a seed. Cash app a seed. You'll see the ident cash app identifier there. Uh, dollar sign, new life, I-N-T-L. Cash app a seed. You, you'll see all the electronic giving devices. The word bless you. So let's, let's, let's do this. Because the Lord has already told me. I'm blessing you, Eric Bell, to be a blessing. Oh God, yes, yeah. And so, 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 understand where you are as we're talking about uh, coming into your understanding, your true identity, and uh, a flowing in heritage. Hey, come be with us this Sunday. If you're not doing anything at 1015, 1985 Vineville Avenue, make and join this New Life International Ministry that's in the old Scottish Rite Building, just up past Fountain Car Wash. Uh, you see it right there on your right. we we'll go live right here at 1030. Uh, so, so come be with us because a new life is not just church. It's an experience. Thank you for tuning in.